All right, everyone, we're going to talk about ticker symbol UVXY because that's actually the ticker symbol I got asked the most. Um, and I really appreciate that you want my opinion, but please always know that I, uh, my opinion is just a humble opinion. You're just as good of a trader. If not, you may be even better than me and there's no, there's no problem at all. Uh, I would hope that you're all better than me. First of all, I put this slide for to show. That was yesterday on Friday and it was in the uh, early hours, way early hours, right? And it says here, I, it was on the, my, on the community section of the channel. And I said that I think I'm going to day trade this extended hours, 4 a.m. So you can tell how early it was. So at that time, UVXY, UVXY was trading at about 14 US dollars. And I'm sorry, 1435. So it was at 1435 when I posted the message. And uh, I, now I did say I think, and there was um, not on YouTube because I put it on Twitter also and somewhere else. I don't remember where uh, a person that you know uh, was offended because I said I think they wanted me to be more of yes I am or no I'm not. And you know what? I strategically and on purpose put the word think. That is because when we're doing social media content without wanting to because the last thing I want is to tell someone what to do but without wanting to I may accidentally influence someone and the last thing I want to do also is to influence anyone I want people's decisions to be made on their own so that's why I on purposely put the word think in the end I did I did get in and I did it traded this but I did not want to say I'm day trading this because it would have uh uh, influence people when they would have gotten in and you know what if it didn't work out for them they would have pointed fingers so all right so I did get in and the question is Mike the questions that people ask me past few days what do we do do we get in now should we buy it for the long term right here's how I go about this because UVXY is something that you don't I mean personally I don't want to say I'm holding this for the long term no way am I would I want to buy and say I'm gonna hold this for the rest of the year or for the next two years that's not how this thing works uh, even a month or weeks I, I, I personally have a history of when I would get into this sort of things um, is for day trade some people say you know what forget it man you know this is this thing you see, you know where the markets are going. They're going this way. They're going that way. I'm holding for a week. I'm going to hold for a month. I'm going to make so much money. And they can be right, of course. But let's look at how I look at it. All right, first we're going to talk about charts, news, and discussion in this video. Let's look Let's look at some latest news that are just now. I just print screened, uh, I print screened this and I to show you. All right, CNN. I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying CNN is right or CNBC. I'm just chose these channels because you're you're most are most of the viewers of you're from the U.S. So these are your American channels that I'm guessing you would be watching most. I guess I don't know. Uh, CNN to fight inflation, the Fed may resort to a tool uh, it hasn't used since 2000. CNBC: The Federal Reserve's rate debate and Ukraine tensions could jolt markets in the neck in in the weeks ahead. Now, why am I talking about news? And I'll show you some other things also. It'll all tie in, and at, towards the end of the video, we'll have I'll have a discussion and opinion and my uh, official. Uh, I will tell you officially what I will do. Right? Uh, there's also something else, not just UVXY. I'll show you in a little bit something else that I think makes more money. Uh, Fed's James Bullard supports rate hikes of full point by by July. Growing distrust of uh, Federal Reserve heightens concerns of incompetence. Inflation is out of control, according to Yahoo Finance, and it may make the Fed trigger happy and so on. So out of all these news, right, just the titles. Of course, you have to read and look into it more. But just by reading this, you get an idea. UVXY right now is a $16.66, right? Look at the one-year chart. This is why you, um, for, uh, for the new investors, because there's... New investors who don't know about this uh, sort of things, and uh, I, I have full respect for new investors. You don't want to hold this for long, right? Uh, this is the chart now for the same thing UVXY as it's been for the year, for the year, for the entire year of 2022. So from January one going forward. So it, yes, for you know, if you would have held it starting the January first and held for the month and uh, going into month and a half. Uh, 
of the year, then you'd be up, right? Perfectly fine. But like, I, like I said, I don't like, I would not, I don't like holding these things for for a month. Uh, I like to day trade them. But there is something else. There is another ETF, right? This gained for the year so far in 2022. It's up four dollars and eighty-five cents, which is fine. But there is another one that has made more, right? Obviously, though, it does cost more, but it made more and the potential for it to get worse. It's easier for what that other ETF covers. The, the, what the sector that it covers is uh, much easier to get worse this year. Much, much easier. Uh, so let's get to, let's see this one. Let's see. Let's see what Jeremy had to say. Let's rem let's all remember what Jeremy had to say. If we weren't exposed to a large amount of growth stocks, I suspect we would skip the hedging, we would skip going short. In any case, I would never short an individual name. I would only short a broad index. And the in indices I would short, if I was up for that, would be the Russell 2000 because they have a high density of flaky companies that aren't making any money. I'm looking at this, ProShares Ultra Pro Short Russell 2000 ETF. SRTY is the ticket symbol. It's at $54.14. This is the past one year. For the past one year, it's actually green. I understand 74 cents, but look at it for this year, just for the entire year of 2022, for the month and a half. It's up $13.69. The Economist, Russia is engaged in the largest military buildup in Europe since the Cold War. I think that the Russia-Ukraine thing, and when, when, when Russia goes in, which I don't know when, uh, it seems, it seems, everything's showing that, and it seems like, maybe Russia will do it this year, that will definitely have a very, 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 very negative effect on the stock markets. I mean, when that occurs, we're talking about the Russell 2000, this specific ETF to go way higher, way higher. The, the, the UVXY is going to go a lot. In 2020, when there was the market crash, if I'm not mistaken, I remember, I think it reached 150, 150 bucks, right? Now, some I know someone who told me that, you know, uh, Mike, you know what I'm doing? I'm buying this all the time, starting now. I'm buying. And whenever it goes really low, I'll buy more. And I'll just keep on stacking up a lot. And uh, when, the, when Russia invades Ukraine and um, the sanctions will start and the Russia cuts off natural gas supplies to Europe as a way of uh, responding back and oil prices and natural gas prices will go up, which means the economies, you know, it'll be a dominant effect and supply chains and the economies and supermarket prices and inflations and all that. Um, you're going to see the UVXY go over 150 right that's the way some people see it i th i sort of think that it it will but when is that i mean will russia invade this year or next year the last thing i want to do is keep on throwing money into this for a whole year so my point is that i tend to just day trade it i just tend to day trade it. i don't want to hold it for long that's just my opinion uh, it's definitely a good tool for day trading if you know when to get in and out that's my opinion let me know in the comment section below what you think. Thank you very much for watching this video and I wish you all the best. Take care.